hi friend how are you if you still not subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for more real practical videos related to substration transmission line distribution line and its equipments installed inside this area so let's start about today's discussions today i am providing the practical experience that i have gathered during the work on 220 kv circuit breaker inside this circuit breaker dm box drive mechanism box this auxiliary contacts are present if you see my previous video about the control circuit there you will see that s1 contact will present this s1 contact just controlling the closing path of the circuit breaker tripping path of the circuit breaker four discrepancy of the circuit breaker sf6 low sf6 alarm trip lockout contact all the path inside the control circuit you can see the s1 no or s1 nc contact these four no and four nc contact inside the circuit breaker has been used for providing the proper response to proper control circuit path when you just want to switch on a circuit breaker this nc path will give you the 100% uh, dc voltage path because this is the nc and by help of this nc path you can uh, easily close the circuit breaker by help of this nc path so i am suggesting you please see my control circuit video there you can understand easily what is the function of this s1 contact s1 and s2 contact so this auxiliary contact has four no path and four nc path four no no means normally open and nc means normally close normally close path and normally open path as per the requirement and as per the desires what is the functions depends on each we are using or we are choosing the nonc path if i discussed about this switch this switch has an latch this is a latch that is connected to the closing latch and tripping latch of the circuit breaker this is connected to the close closing latch and tripping latch of the circuit breaker if the breaker is tripped four and four eight path is present here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 path is present here during the opening or breaker is off condition four path will be nc and four path will be no and this nc path will be used for closing purpose and this no path will be then for the tipping purpose so this is a latch by help of this latch uh, we are just controlling the control circuit of the circuit breaker this is the null position null position means no nc contacts you will get <clears throat> all will be the no contact in this conditions if we check this you can obviously see that no type of sound will be there 
you will not get any type of sound of the multimeter we are providing the multimeter to the continuity port one starting from here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so this is the null positions in that positions this switch all the path will be no that means normally open so this is not the state that's why we are using these types of auxiliary switch if we are just changing by help of these we are just uh, changing the null positions you can hear the sound you can hear the sound properly you can hear the sound that's suppose this is this 15 and 16 now 13 and uh, 14 change 13 and 14 13 and 14 Now I am showing the 13 and 14. This is the NC contact. Now 11 and 12. Eleven and twelve. Now eleven and twelve, you are getting the NC contact. Now uh, nine and ten. now 9 and 10 so starting from the 15 16 13 uh, 12 12 13 10 11 uh, we are getting the contact nc contact now we are checking this four now next we don't get the nc next we don't get uh, the NC. No contact. Next. No contact. Next. No contact. Now hold hold properly here because this is the one contact. I am changing the position. This is the null position, and now we are getting the NC contact. Now change. Now if uh, I change the uh, null position, null position uh, from this side to this side, we are getting 1, 2, 3, 4. Now 5, 6. Now 5, 6. Hmm. Now next. Hmm. We are getting this 4 NC. Now next, that will be the NO. That will be the NO contact. Next. 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 So, in this... In this position, if we are just changing this, we are getting this 4 NO and 4 NC. So this is the total funder of this 
auxiliary contact now i open this auxiliary contact for your friend to see what is the inside and what is the inside path because this is the affected uh, actually this is the affected um, auxiliary switch that has been replaced by the new one and i am just giving you you can see here the lux is already present and one terminal has been broken here one terminal has been broken here the nut bolt of the terminal has been broken and it is it, it has been used for since 12 or 14 years inside the circuit breaker for uh, this NONC problem this NONC problem uh, we are just changing this auxiliary switch so now I open this auxiliary switch for you friend for better understanding so I am just opening these switches now you can see that this is the inside of the auxiliary switch so inside the auxiliary switch this is our this, this is our latch We're just opening the latch so the part is one two and three the divided by the three parts these are the connection or plinth these are the connection these are the connection or the plinth of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All are just divided and connected with this spiral type connection. When we are just giving this switch inside it, this switch has connections in between this side to this side and here this side to this side we are placing these switches here inside these cards and we are just changing the locations as like as this inside functions just that will be that no contact will be nc when this grip will be properly inserted and in that case when we are just changing these locations as like as this these four these four contact will be connected with each other i am checking that this is the nc or no contact i am checking now i am showing you this inside switch this latch first contact second contact third contact fourth contact if I am just changing this null positions, you will not getting any contact because in this path that will be not continued. So now I am just this is the null position. I am changing these positions. So contact next contact next contact next contact. By help of this mechanical latch, we are just uh, controlling the NONC contact when this switch as that positions and that will continuating with this four you can see here continuing with the four just uh, touch here and here first touch here and here next 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 hmm. can you understand it is the nc contact and this next next four no next no next no next no now i am changing the positions inside function now check the four hmm. next 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 yes so this is the main funda from the outside we are just discussing about these terminals we are discussing about this terminal and you can clearly understand about it so this is the funda the mechanical mechanical latch by help of this mechanical latch we are just 
controlling our circuit breaker it is being used inside 11 kb 33 kb 132 kb 220 kb 400 kb 765 kb all type of breakers and also the 415 volt acb these types of auxiliary contacts is being used nowadays so friend this is our practical this is my practical experience and what is happening inside this switches i have shown you if you interested please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for more this type of practical inside video of the equipment to you friend so thank you very much please subscribe and share my channel with your friends and colleagues okay thank you